Hey guys, it's Ben with Vape Carolina here. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted a review video, but after what I looked at as a fiasco that occurred with the Draco Vapes review video, I wanted to take some time to get more knowledgeable with my equipment and I wasn't just going blindly into recording a video for the sake of saying, oh yeah, I review vaping on YouTube. Um, I think I've got all those problems worked out. I am wearing a headset now. I think that'll solve the audio issues, or at least I hope so. If not, I'll have to figure out something new. Um, another thing that was delaying me from posting videos as frequently as I would have liked to is I was on second shift in my last job, but with the new job I've gotten, I'm on first shift. So that gives me plenty of time throughout the week and on the weekend to dedicate myself to making good quality and very educated and knowledgeable videos for everyone else to watch. Um, really, today's video is kind of a two-parter. Um, the first part is actually going to be the review of a store. Um, it's owned by a friend of mine that I've been dealing with for probably five or six months now and then the second part of the video is actually going to be the review of a dripper that I purchased from him last Saturday um, it's the Stellaire V3 um, I know they're relatively new I haven't seen a lot of people with them so I figured I have one why not go ahead and review it and give y'all my thoughts and opinions on it okay um, I'm gonna take a couple of hits and then we can get started all right let's get down to it um, the name of the store is the art of vapes they've had an online website for probably seven or eight months now I've purchased a lot of stuff from them um, all four or five uh, all of the clone Stellaire drippers that I own have been purchased from them with the exception of my black one um, I've also purchased multiple mods from them and they're really stand-up guys they know what they're doing they aren't in it to line their pockets with 20 and hundreds. I know there are some stores out there who are just kind of capitalizing on the vaping industry because it's so booming right now. That's not what the guys at the Art of Vapes are about. Um, they're there to simply help fellow vapers. Whether you're a beginner who's looking for his first mech mod and dripper or if you're an advanced guy who's only owned clones so far and you're ready to buy an authentic or if you just want to learn more um that's what the art of apes is all about and it's a really nice atmosphere it's in charlotte north carolina for those of you that are local to it um, I know a lot of the people that will see this video were at the grand opening with me so they can vouch for it. It's an old abandoned warehouse um, that the store is actually in. And I think that adds to a lot of the, the feel that Christos, the owner, was trying to get. And the really nice part is there's a ton of room to move around. I know just from my experience, a lot of the vape stores I've been in have always been really small and compact, and that's not the case with the Art of Vapes. It's a larger storefront, and granted, they are just, you know, a week old in terms of how long the storefront's been open. And they're growing and getting new products in and everything, but the grand opening was spectacular. Um, they're not just a vape shop either. Um, I believe Christos has referred to it as a lounge. He does have two different types of beer on tap. I'm not sure whether he plans to expand that or not. Um, that 
could be something that is in the works that I'm unaware of. But it's just got a really nice atmosphere. I mean, there's a pool table. There's a large TV for you to watch TV on. I know at the grand opening this past Saturday, he was playing um, a marathon of older James Bond movies. Yeah, it's not related to vaping, but I personally enjoyed it. I love the James Bond movies. Um, it, it's just overall the store is excellent. Um, I've known Christos for a while now. He always jokes around with me about when I'm going to buy another Stellaire from him just because I have bought so many from him. And I actually saw him at Vape Mania two weekends ago, and he told me that he actually had some authentic ones that were going to be in stock in his store. And I basically demanded that he hold one for me. And at the grand opening um, this past Saturday, I did go ahead and purchase it. I, he did not give it to me. I am not reviewing this for free. I am not putting his name out there so that you guys will all go spend money there. I purchased this dripper. I know some of the reviewers out there do, in fact, get some of their products for free. And I, I don't agree with it completely. Um now, if somebody was like, yeah, I'll send you a 30 mil bottle of every flavor in my juice line if you want to review it and you don't have to pay a dime, yeah, I'd be fine with it. But I'm not going to pursue vendors, hey, send me free stuff so I can review it. If I want it bad enough, I'll go out there and buy it myself. So, I've babbled enough about the store. Um, so let's get down to the main part of this video, which is reviewing the Stellaire V3 by Cartel. Um, it's the first authentic dripper I've ever bought. And let me tell you, from someone who owns four stainless Stellaire clones and one stainless Stellaire clone that's been PVD coated black, wow, this authentic knocks the clones out of the water. It is absolutely phenomenal. And one thing that's new, and I hope the crappy quality of my video doesn't keep you guys from seeing this, but unlike the Stellaire's um, prior to now, this one actually has three negative posts that are built into the deck. Um, it's not your typical triple uh, I'm combining words it's not your typical triple post RDA um, I know there are the RDAs out there like the W3 and the W6 and the cats that are designed for quad coils um, so this one I guess you would say is designed for triple coils um, it's really nice and the juice whale um, I know you can't see it because I've got cotton stuff down in there but it goes all the way down into the bottom and the center post is copper and instead of having a regular post hole in it it's actually got vertical slots um, they're almost kind of like an elongated oval it made it really easy to get this build in there um, this is a 24 gauge triple coil it would have been 22 gauge but unfortunately the positive post hole cannot fit three strands of 22 gauge um, so that's something that I would like to see improved upon, but I'm fine with using 24 gauge. I know I use 22 gauge a lot just because I like the really, really low builds. Um, but other than that, it's, it's a fantastic dripper. Um, just like every other Stellar out there, it does have this annoying little spit guard down where the um, drip tip goes, but... I will be drilling that out with my drill press. Um, so that won't be an issue for very long. And then this is what the actual airflow looks like. Uh, let me see if I can get it to where you guys can see it. Um, it's got one small slot. And it's got a second little bit longer, almost medium sized slot I guess you would say. And then the third airflow slot is actual from here all the way down to here. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, and I apologize for that. I am using a very poor quality laptop webcam. 
And to go along with that, the sleeve, um, you can see the first air crawl right there on the side with the cartel logo. And then there is the second one. And then there is the third one. So it really, truly is designed for um, triple coils. Like I said, the um, negatives are built into the deck. It's not an actual post. It's something more similar to a cat's almost, to where they just kind of sit on top of the deck, and you have to wrap the lead around them and then tighten it down to make connection. But one thing that's different about this than some of the other RDAs like the cats is, and I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, but right, see if I can find it, right here next to the negative screws, it has actually two little slots drilled into the base. And reading the product description, um, Cartel is referring to them as wire canals and the whole purpose behind them is when you wrap the lead around the um, screw head for the negative post it just gives you a little slot for the lead to rest in it makes it a lot easier to build on you don't have to worry about your wires moving as much um, I know that's a concern with drippers where you have to wrap the leads around the screw heads instead of putting them through a post hole is you encounter the lead moving a lot and it sucks when you're trying to screw a screw down on top of it and then it slips out and you have to start all over again. So the wire canals helps eliminate that. I did still have a couple of those issues, but it was because I was trying to hastily build this um, just for the simple fact of having a build in it for this review video. But I know that if I took a little bit more time and actually focused and put a build in it that would normally be up to my standards when it comes to a build that this thing would really shine um i guess that's really about it um like i said it's the first authentic dripper i've ever bought and i'm very glad that i did um the triple coil is absolutely phenomenal um, it's a 24 gauge triple coil, like I said earlier, ohms out to about 0.12, so it's not as low as I normally go, but like I said, three strands of 22 unfortunately wouldn't fit. Um, I may try and go back and modify that later when I drill out the spit guard. Um, so that's really it for my review. I'm going to take a couple of hits and show you guys how it produces and then I'm probably gonna go work on the Instagram and YouTube channel because I don't like my stuff looking plain I have to go make it pretty and make sure everybody knows who I am and what I'm doing And yes, I know I'm not blowing clouds right now, but if you pay attention to the timestamp on the video, you can see those were only like one or two second bulls. And I'm almost out of juice and I don't feel like re-dripping right now. So you guys will just have to be satisfied with my little tiny baby clouds for the sake of the review video. Um, other than that, expect a lot more videos from me now that I am back on first shift. Um... I've got a couple of mods from my personal collection that I've previously purchased that I want to review. I know for a fact I'll be reviewing the FM by Blacksmith Mods um, and probably my um, Suck My Wood um, Mechanical Box Mod and what else is there? I may post a review of my AR. Um, I know a lot of people have problems with the AR and they don't recommend them. Uh, I've never had an issue with mine, so I may do a review video of it just to kind of clear up some of the controversy for those of you who th are thinking about purchasing one. Um, that's really it off the top of my head. Um, 
everything else I own. There are tons of reviews out there for them, so I'll let the other more experienced reviewers handle those, and I'll just kind of do what I've done with the Stellar V3 and uh, take care of newer products that come out that I'm fortunate enough to get my hands on relatively quickly. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, so just remember guys, don't blow yourselves up. Don't be smart. Vape smart. I, I don't want seeing pictures of a vented battery on Facebook because somebody grabbed a 10 amp E-Fest and wanted to push a .11 build on it. it it's common sense. If you're vaping and your mod gets overly hot, take the battery out of it. If the battery is super hot, then be glad you took it out quick enough before you made the battery vent. If not, and the mod's still hot, um, clean your contacts, clean the inside of the tube, and just use your head. We all have brains for a reason. Just like any other hobby, there are dangers associated with vaping. So... Don't give anybody more ammunition to be anti-vaping. Be smart. Vape strong, guys.